Richard spent some time with them today. I think if we weren't big in Montreal, we wouldn't be big in the rest of the world. This is what is setting the tone for our entire worldwide plan, and that's why we're starting here. It's cramped in here. What we're doing is called grassroots promotion from the bottom up. <laughs> here than you get in other markets that you visit? Definitely. Uh, in the States, people seem not to be so... They're more reserved. Yeah. Right? Here, if they like you, you know it. They like you. The kids can relate to them, first of all. They're uh, sort of in their age group, and uh, it, it's the cool thing to do. But you don't even know I'm alive. On the radio, we get a lot of requests for those bands, and it, and it's little girls. It starts really young, seven years old. I don't know. I really don't know. They're cute. They're nice guys. Twenty years, twenty-five years ago, Montreal discovered you know Sticks, Supertramp, Krista Berg. So there's obviously something about this market that people are quick to respond to something that they like. Why do you think that all these girls love bands like this? To be like boys their age. I don't know, maybe because they're not cute guys here, so it's fun to have nice ones, you know, sometimes. What's great about Montreal is people aren't afraid to be themselves. I mean, if they like the music, they aren't afraid to show it, you know what I mean? And that's all the time we have.